How's it going, everyone? Got another one for you today. So before we get into this game, I'm going to dedicate this game. And I'm being deadly serious. I'm going to dedicate this game to every single one of you guys that watch, subscribe, my members, anyone that helps the channel grow. Because I just got a really lovely message and a really lovely donation from a guy called Gaboons, okay, um, who donated a hundred dollars. I'm gonna replay his uh, the tip that he that he donated because it was off stream, so no one caught it. Um, and I put the lovely message on my Discord as well. And I saw that, and I just thought someone is prepared to donate that you know donate that much money and and follow and watch all my videos. It just brings me so much joy. So I wanted to show you his message that he sent to me to all of you guys and dedicate this to him. Gaboons donated $100. Love your AOE3 YouTube in particular and trying to get into your AOM. Smiley face. Thanks for the variety, humor, and consistency both in upload free. So it doesn't play the entire message, but you can see there that it played some of it, and you can read that message as well if you want to look back on it. So, um, Gaboons, thank you so much. I you, you, I don't know how where else to thank you. I couldn't find you on, on Discord or Twitch or anything like that. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you for that donation. There have been others who have donated in the past as well. But guys, I love you as a community. I love this community that we've grown together, and I'm, I'm looking forward to growing it into the future. I'll always play Age of Empires 3, but I love... I want to play other games on top of this as well. And I want your guys' feedback always. So everyone that likes, what just watches the video, likes it, subscribes to me. A big shout out to my members as well. You are legends as well. Um, and anyone else that has donated in the past, because there have been a few. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me. Okay, enough of the lovey-dovey now. Two minutes into the game. Let's get into it. So we've got man like Bob Enjoyer. Playing as his good old faithful Dutch, the mystery surrounding him is still a mystery. <laughs> it's shrouded in mystery, this guy, which I absolutely love. And the best thing about this guy is that he plays only Dutch, which is considered low on the tier list. But he smashes all the top players, and I, I absolutely love it. But going up against... Dun, 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 dun. Yes, it's Mr. Darth Vader himself, multiple sclerosis, a.k.a. Osteo, the most toxic man in Age of Vampires 3. What's Bob Enjoyer going to do against this guy? Can he beat Mr. Toxic? Now, right now, these guys are both sitting over 2,100 ELO. So they're on like the top, the second page, maybe the top page, actually, of the ELO ladder. So they're around the top to second page. So we're talking uh, top 15 that both of these guys are in right now. Um, so maybe even higher, more like top 13 i think top 12 something like that so yeah so multi so osteo really been tryharding because he's gotten his elo up he osteo very much fluctuates between uh like you know uh, sometimes 1900 to 2100 depends on what civ he's playing but he's playing old faithful right now and that's inca and it's really i i, I know as much as i call this guy toxic i do enjoy the fact that he plays the game. Why? Because he's one of the only Inca mains out there. I can't think of another Inca main. There's lots of other players who consider Inca quite weak. But then when you see Osteo play, he puts them on the map, baby, and he shows you they are not weak. The Plume Spearman Chimu composition is real with this guy. Let's have a look at the decks. Oh, we might have been logic. Oh, we have a logistician. Oh, Bob and Joy are going for the logistician build. It has been months and months and months. I can't remember the last time I saw a logistician build from Dutch. Now, what does the logistician do, you may ask? It costs 900 food, but it gives you a barracks wagon, or uh, it gives you a, a, a wagon which can be used as a stable artillery or a barracks. Usually you go for barracks. It sends you one halberdier and it lets you build halberdiers in age two. Hence why you always build the barracks <laughs> because it then allows you to make halberdiers. So is this his answer to playing against Inca? Wow. Wow, I love it. I already love it. So let's keep a keen eye on him. Let's have a quick look at Osteo. Um, first shipment in age two is going to be the two uh, war wagons, uh, not war wagons, sorry, the two uh, war huts. And then he's going to be following up that with five villagers. 
Um, he's gone for five cantrips. So no, no TPs. No, nothing crazy right now. You know, it's just picking up treasures, picking up another what? Stray dog over here. And he's just massing cantrips right now. He's got lots of people on food. Um, interesting. Two war huts going down in front. So pretty basic stuff there by him. Dutch is going for 700 wood first. So the the only issue with going for the logistician build is obviously you don't age up with the quartermaster and the quartermaster gives you 400 wood. That's when you usually get your second bank. So essentially the logistician, it's weaker economy wise because you essentially miss a whole bank, right? But it does allow you to have how it is. So that's the drawback, you know, 200 wood as well with the barracks. So, you know, it's it's there's pros and cons. And I tell you what, Dutch is going to see these war huts, and I think he's going to be happy with those central war huts right in front of his TC. Because there's no, there's no like natural walls here. So halberdiers, if he masses enough halberdiers here, he'll just be able to walk up and siege those things really, really easy. And plume spearmen and chimu runners will get riggedy goddamn wrecked by these boys. Look at them, 28 hand stack. I always call these guys, I always call halberdiers slow moving cavalry that counter other cavalry because that's essentially what they are. They hit like a cavalry unit. They are that frigging good. Massing some skirms here now. So he's got five skirms. He's now uh, mixing in some halberdiers and he's, he's, he's done really well here. He's gone for free banks. So he's done the logistician build quite greedily. He doesn't, he wants to find his timing here. Um, and he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to risk it and go the standard four banks. So I like this build right now. I'm liking this build right now. Coming in with his army of uh, ragabonds over here. We've got a uh, a witch hunter. We've got his hero, a gunman, and a dog. And we've got uh, some jungle bowmen here. He probably doesn't know he's aged up with halberdiers. Unless he's seen the halbs, he probably won't know that there's halberdiers here. So might might try and find a nice timing here. He's got more skirms on the way, which is great. Maybe a minuteman timing here could be great. Oh, he's going to see the halberdiers. He will see the halberdiers now. A villager goes down as well. And then he just backs up straight away. Where's his explorer? Okay, needed to get his explorer in there because his explorer could have killed a treasure guardian with this here. Uh, you can still use the sharpshooter attack on converted treasure guardians, uh, which can be very useful. Does have a back herd, uh, a herd behind his base over here, so he'll need to be going on there shortly. Does have hunting dogs. Getting great coats in now. Like I said, though, free banks. Pretty nice. But he is going to be on a timer. He is going to be on a timer. Skirms are going to be able to kite Jungle Bowman. Jungle Bowman only have 16 range compared to Skirms just 20 range. So a noticeable amount of extra range there, which will allow him to comfortably kite these guys. That's exactly what he's doing now. Looks like 600 wood has just come in. He's shipped four villagers. Oh, no. No, he hasn't shipped four villagers. Uh, that's because he's pop capped, right? Yeah, so 600 wood is here. I think he'll get a second uh, barracks with that. Or maybe he might mix in uh, mix in some hazards. So he might go for a stable here. But honestly, I like the hazards. Look at those halberdiers. One swipe. And the Chimu's head gets cut off. Bang. And the dirt is gone. Hi, I'm Barry Scott, and I'm casting Age of Empires 3. Bang, and the Chimu's gone. He's making more Chimu's, but he's just diving them in. Not not very good micro here by uh, Osteo, honestly. And uh, the Skirms are just continuing to kite the Jungle Bowman, and they're, they're doing a fantastic job. Skirmisher, is it going to survive the poison? It is going to survive the poison. 4 HP, let's go. So with that 600 wood, what's he decided to do? He's decided to get us another bank and a second barrack. So I love this. So rather than go for the, the, the normal four bank build, he's going for, and that, but that would be like skirm pike hazard. Rather, he's done logistician and gone for three banks, but gone for skirm halb. And now he's mixing in. So now the four banks coming in and then he's going to mix in a second barracks. So I really like this. I really, really like this. That villager is definitely dead. <laughs> yeah, he's going to try and run towards the, uh, his units, but it's not going to be enough. Okay, so Bob and Joya backing up here. He's shipping uh, 700 coin, which is interesting, but he needs more food, to be honest. Looks like he's uh, amending his macro as we speak. 
He's going to be putting uh, some more villagers on, on, on wood, though. Maybe he'll buy the maybe he'll just buy the food if he needs to. Don't forget how are more gold heavy than they are food. So, you know, that makes a little bit of sense. So, okay, so no H3 just yet. You know, it looks like he's, he's still waiting for his timing, which is scary for Osteo. We take a look at Osteo. Um, what does Osteo make here? He literally has to go pure jungle bowman. So for him to try and age up is gonna be scary because if that age up comes and the, the timing from Bob and Joyer gets here with all those halberdiers, what do halberdiers have? Siege damage. So they will mow down everything here. Um if they get the opportunity. The third war hut's gone down. Obviously, he's got that community plaza to put the llama on. That's going to be uh, a, a villager on wood. No, it's, it's, it's more like a villager in half, isn't it? Okay, Chimu versus um, a hero. I think a hero on max HP will probably win. But uh, definitely not with that many Chimus. Gone for uh, the native TPs. So he's gone for the House of Whittlespatch. That's going to give him uh, Mountain Troopers. It's one of the worst big buttons, I think, out of the uh, the natives. House of Hasberg. The, I think that's the Rositsky, uh, which gives you the Magyar Hazar. Uh, so that's a very good. That's a very good native in general, to be honest with you. Uh, there's lots of really useful text there. How about is running in to save the day in these villages? Oh, look at that. Maybe a bit of a mistake there. It causes all of his Chimus to run forward. I think that's because he moved all of the Chimus here. Uh, maybe he just wanted to run out of there. I think it'll definitely be worthwhile idea to leave a couple of halberdiers here. Nice using the Chimus to pick up the uh, the hero, the Inca hero. That's uh, really, really nice. But look at this scary mass right now. This is the timing. And just like I predicted, Osteo's going for the age up, but the timing is going to hit right now. More skirms coming in. Honestly, I'd leave three halberdiers in my base. I would leave just three is all he needs. Just three halberdiers. But look at this triple warhub production of Jungle Bowman right now. He does have Chincha Brewing. So each of these counter houses is almost a whole villager on food. But look how quickly a warhub gets taken down. Have me some of that. Halberdiers could just go into uh, the guard stance uh, or cover cover mode, um, so they will tank a lot more uh, damage. But the Halberdiers are just running riot here. He's going to have to maneuver them in a good position. I mean, Chimu Runner is just a cannon fodder there uh, in front of the Halberdiers. A fort is coming in, the Machu Picchu, but that might have to be forced backwards to play it safe. Inca scouting party coming in now as well. That going to come up from the War Hut? No, it's going to come from the TC. That's such a risky shipment as well with the amount of halberdiers here. Oh, and he just puts it right down there. Surely he sees it. The halberdiers are going to charge. That's got to be a huge mistake, surely. And where are all these halberdiers coming from? Oh my goodness me, 25 halberdiers coming in. There is no chance that that is getting built. He's going to get two here. <laughs> Let's go, Bob. Enjoy her. The logistician build, I told you the timing of this is scary. And these halberdiers, the jungle bowmen are going to have to be forced backwards here. These jungle bowmen are elite, so they have their veterancy. Bob and Joy are just backing up a little bit here. Okay, 10 more skirms coming in. I think he'll, he'll push back again with that. 35 bills. He's on four banks, don't forget, as well. So, oh, no, he's on. He's put his fifth bank down now. Very, very nice. He does have this secret weapon here. So that could be an interesting one. Using military... I, I would like military reforms here. That essentially uh, makes his halberdiers much more speedy. It gives them extra speed, but it does make their attack slightly weaker. So that's the drawback between it. But again, you know, we, again with this card, it's making it's like twenty percent speed. Yeah, there, that's scary. And now, how it is, are going to go after the canter houses. Osteo should surely have some big buttons ready to go. Yeah, as, as I say that, five mountain troopers come in. These guys, these guys are nice. They've got twenty range, and they get promotions as well. And the more promotions they get, the more range they get. You see here, a bronze promotion gets twenty-one range. Okay, we'll shortly have uh, the Raditsky's march as well. Jungle Bowman being shipped, that's nine Jungle Bowmen, so forcing that card to be sent. 
But I was talking about military reforms and free hazards at 15 minutes of the game. Looking like it's going to be a nice card to send here, forcing his opponent back. However, he's kind of getting stuck here. TC fire, Warhut fire. It's all going to go on the hazards. Uh, kind of worked. Uh, didn't work out too well here for him there, but it gave him enough breathing space. Those hazards, the threat of the hazards, just gave him enough breathing space so his uh, his halberdiers could get in there and start sieging stuff down because he's only got one more warhut after this. He only has one more warhut. So taking this down is massive. More halberdiers coming in. Villagers are going to get hit here. Two of them go down. 35 vills at the moment. There's the uh, the Magyar Hazar going to be coming in. Yes, yes. How about it is chasing after skirmishes? You love to see it. Look at this a mountain trooper with a gold promotion. Gets 22 range. But I think the Dutch army is slowly dwindling. But has he done enough? That's the question. I think so. Oh, but the rebuild over this side of the map. Please see the fort. He does see it, but he's going to get forced to be anti-cab units. Oh, and that, that, that Pika Pukara is going to get built. Oh, just about going to get built. But he takes down a load of Chimus, and he takes down that Magyar Hazar. Um, and his, uh, his hero, if he's not careful. So, okay. Bob and Joy needs this side of the map, though. So that could be a problem. Is Bob and Joya, please tell me he's aging. Ah, uh, he is aging, but only just now. So the question is, has Bob and Joya done enough? More Kanchas going down. He's on 43 vils, so he's beating his opponent's villagers by seven or eight. Uh, more Habadiers coming in. Is he going to start? Where is he going to start mixing in? Okay, he's got triple racks. Wow. I would like to see an artillery foundry. I think he even needs to go for... I think advanced artillery would be really nice here. So he can continue doing skirm halberdier. But I think he's going to need the mor the mortar. I think a mortar popping out of this outpost here will be the perfect play. And I, I, I suspect that that's what he will send. We saw a game a little while ago of Bob and Joy using this advanced artillery. Or we saw a video of advanced artillery being used a while ago. And if there's one sieve that it is good against, particularly, it is Inca. And there we go. I suspected right. In comes advanced artillery. So maybe just going to rely on the mortar to do the damage here. And just continue to go halberdier skirm. A villager does go down there. Nice. Trying to get a sneaky double raid. Clever stuff there from Osteo. Like I said, just leave a few halberdiers in your base. Uh, and, and that would prevent these raids. Just needs to leave, leave a few of them behind. Okay, we've got some plume spearmen now. That artillery needs to be coming from the TC. Do not come from this outpost. All this outpost. Thank Jesus. And where is that advanced? There it is. Shouldn't be get caught by any Chimus right now. More Skirms coming in. He's on five banks, don't forget. He's 4K score up now. Looking really good for him. Can Osteo, he's no, his namesake being toxic. Can he very toxically stay in this game? Just hang on. That's what, he's, that's what he does best. There's that Mortar. Well out of range. Look at that. 40 ranged. Against the uh, the Pika Pukara. Trying to get a second town center down here as well. But I don't think that's a good idea. Especially with advanced uh, artillery here. I think both TCs should just go down here. You'd be much better off. Outpost does go down. And oh my god, yes. Well watched by Bob and Joy to understand that these units, he can't get there in time. So he's going to run his villagers away. A couple up to the north. Most of them down to the south. And uh, Osteo probably banking on the villagers being inside the outpost. Currently housed, Bob and Joya. Almost got another shipment ready to go. I think that... Was that Plume Spearman vet or, or Chimus? Okay, I think that was the Chimu tech. So we've got elite Chimus now as well. <laughs> These villagers getting found out. There goes one TC. More mountain troopers coming in. 
Mountain Troopers are a great uh, unit versus skirmishers because they kind of trade evenly with them, I guess. They're essentially the same sort of thing. 30% uh, range resist. Uh, yeah, they're basically a, a skirmisher, but a native version that gets promotions. And this is the problem. This is why you leave a few halberdiers in your base. Luckily, there's some that just about got built. Just leave these three in here. That's all you need to do. The good thing about these uh, halberdiers as well is they shadow tech, so they don't need to be teched. And the skirmishers, they get shadow tech. So there's no, like, 400 resources, 200 wood and 200 gold that needs to be spent on any of these resources to get their veterancy because they both shadow tech. And that's the great thing about Dutch's skirmishers um, and their halberdiers when they go up with the logistician. So... Nice. Look at the range. So far out of range of that TC. And it sees anything coming a mile away. Do not let these tumors get on top of it, though. Oh, he's, gonna, he's going to just... Yeah, but half HP has gone down for the mortar. You can't even sleep for a second to allow Chimu runners. Just even two of them. Look how dangerous just two of them was. Chimu support, and that's the 10 Chimus plus the 20% hit points. Um, so that's going to be scary. Uh, however, they're going to get absolutely merkle dirkled by these veteran halberdiers. And I think Bob and Joya has sent this guard. Yep, infantry combat's coming because the attack of these halberdiers is now 36. They do like 82 damage or something. Ridiculous. No, sorry, 70, 74 damage to Chimus, uh, or to Cavalry. They do slightly less to Chimu. 280 HP as well. My God, they are tanky. They've got melee resist as well. Look, put them in cover mode. Very nice, but got to get rid of that again to protect this mortar at all costs. Oh, yeah. But the TC goes down. The mortar with its final breath takes down its duty. And the TC goes down. Now we've just got a massive fight on our hands here. And I tell you what, Looking good for Inca, actually. More Habadiers coming in, though. Villagers getting caught here. Nice, nice. Killing a few villagers there. I guess they just came out of the TC, and the TC's waypoint uh, was pointed forward, so uh, the villagers just moved forward. Yeah, time to get out of there. Military reforms coming in now. Nice. So Habadiers going to get speedy halves. We like to see speedy halves, baby. And I tell you what, that might be really nice, actually, against the Jungle Bowmen. Because they, they, they'll be able to catch up to them. And once they get that snare, oh, it's over, baby. Yeah, he's going for it. He's going for it. I was kind of on the edge about that, but I guess he's got there now. Bring the skirms forward. Okay, he's taking somehow back. I like that. Because he wants to be careful about that flank of Chimu runners there. Another outpost going down here. He wants to secure the map now. And look at these bad boys go. Look at them go. They now have 5.1 speed. <laughs> you see here, the speed, the extra speed comes in. Oh, my God. 5.1 halberdiers is so scary. Uh, the only drawback, like I said, is they have less attack, but only against uh, infantry. Um... Well, I say only infantry, so that, that's everything. So they still keep their same multipliers versus cav and shock infantry, um, but they do do less damage by a quarter against infantry. But that, that's still okay. Like a quarter of 36 versus, you know, uh, something like uh, a, a mountain trooper that doesn't have uh, melee resist is still a hell of a lot. Outpost going down. Lots of outposts everywhere. Does he have the free outpost card? He doesn't have frontier outposts. So if he wants to upgrade these outposts, he'll have to do it manually. But I do like that idea. We'll put an outpost here. Oh, uh, okay, nice. We've got veteran hazards. Some Chimu's running into the base. Hopefully he sees them early. I think he does. He brings them back now. Uh, doesn't actually have the church card. That feels like a huge mistake. Not ever. You 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 want the church card with Dutch in every single one of your decks. Uh, but doesn't have it this time around. So I think we'll, um, what, what, what can we see next? I would like to see Bosniaks, but even advanced Arsenal would be really good here because um, advanced Arsenal, ev almost every single tech for infantry uh, will be worth it for skirmishers and halberdiers. So advanced Arsenal is going to be a very valuable card if he can get it up and get all of the techs. Brings his explorer back. Again, House of Hasberg would be very useful for both these guys. 
Bob and Joya almost on max veils. He gets 50. Dutch get 50 veils, remember? Osteo still hasn't got any of the text from uh, the natives over here. Has he got any from here? No, he's got no, no text from any of them. Uh, Skirmish has gained more range. That's absolutely fantastic. Even if it's by one. Uh, but this is going to be a problem right now because there's a lot of villagers over here. Uh, oh, Osteo, you toxic boy. I told you. I told you he's toxic. And is he going to sack these Hazars off just to try and let some villagers survive? I think he is. Hazars are catching some skirms here. But as long as these villagers survive, run for your lives. The Hazars... Very, very noble sacrifice by the Hazars there. They allowed these villagers to survive. He'll have to sack one or two villagers like he just did there. Stops the snare. Very nice. So doesn't lose any village. Uh, only one, I think, or two villagers there. Um, so still in an okay position. Still up 3k score, but that 3k score, I've seen this man come back from far worse than only 3k. Oh, this, don't split your units like this. Now, where does Bob and Joya attack? That's his question. It's always a difficult one to know. Like, where does he have to push to? Obviously, here looks like a juicy uh, thing to, uh, over here as well, force your, those units off. The resources. I definitely think Frontier Outpost would be necessary at some point as well. Obviously, it's a very expensive upgrade. It's like 400 wood and 200 coin. So, we can't use it lightly. Another TC going down. Villagers coming down to the left side of the map here. But Halberdiers are walking the wrong way. More Halberdiers. You'd love to see it. They have 5.10, uh, 5.1 speed now. So, they traverse the map much nicer than they, were, they did before they had that uh, military reforms card. Lots of villagers going inside the tambo, but oh, the skirms are going to see them and they're going to one hit the skirt, the villagers. They do not have their great coats. Mr. Toxic does not have his great coats. He's raiding over here as well. He's seeing everything. He's all seeing right now. The skirmishers are chasing the villagers. They're running for their lives. I can't breathe. This game is hype. Only 2k, 3k scoring it still. And of course, of course, the counter push is coming. Is coming, and I'm not sure that Dutch is going to be so lucky this time. Oh, he's going to see all of the villagers now. The Halberdiers are running to their aid. Is it going to be enough? We've got Halberdiers over here. Maybe they're going to have to make a sacrifice, a very noble one. Oh, the TC is going to get built. There's so many villagers. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, look how he massacred my boy. Those poor villagers. Please don't lose any more. He was max villagers. Oh, my God. He's going to lose it. Of course, because Plume Spearmen are insane. They have 50, 50 siege attack. The Halberdiers are speedy, but not speedy enough to save the Vils. I think six of them survive. And, oh, my God. He loses. He's lost. He's literally lost half his villagers here. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Plume Spearmen have like half the attack almost of these Halberdiers. But somehow, somehow, Bob and Joya is losing. Uh, this sieve is so dumb. This sieve is busted. How did he lose? Bro, I I'm literally speechless. I'm literally speechless. I just don't know anymore. Like, when you think you know a game and then things like that happen, it makes me feel like I don't know anything about this game. Yes, Halberdiers have a small negative multi versus infantry, but they still do more damage than Plume Spearman. Make it make, it make sense. Bro, the, the shades are coming off, man. I, I am I am seriously in disbelief about that game. So, now, now he's just massing all these... Bro, 
Bob and Joya. I, I don't know what to say, bruv. I don't know what to say, bruv. <laughs> I'm sorry this happened to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wilson. Forts going down. Cancha houses are so... What can I say? Cancha houses are busted. <laughs> Cancha houses are busted. Can we please get rid of Chincha Brewing? It's freaking busted. Anyway, anyway. Scores are still very, very close. Very, very close. Very, very close. But what does Dutch do here? Like, Dutch is like... I mean, he's gone advanced Arsenal now as well. So he, he's going to get, like, his halberdiers and skirms. Look, look, he's got so many techs for them. So many techs already. Look at the halberdiers. Look at these things. 280 HP. Look at the skirms. 24 range, 180. He's got counter infantry rifle ring as well. And Mr. Toxic doesn't even have his great coats. And he's lost, and he's lost so many villagers as well. But somehow he's on 44. Because they get a 2TC card. And 8 villagers. You'll never convince me this, this civilization is not absolutely insane. It does have a high skill ceiling though. That's, that is one thing I will say. It has a high skill ceiling. So just because I think this civ is busted doesn't mean it's easy to play. Because it's not. This Civ is not easy to play. So you have to give credit where credit is due. Osteo, man knows how to play like this. He is a good player. He's 2100 Elo for a reason. I mean, you hate to admit it, but you have to admit it. That is a beautiful jingle. Did you? Can you guys hear that? That was a beautiful big button jingle from here. Still isn't used any of these. Each unit you have trained so far refunds a tiny fraction of its stuff. Jesus. These 192 now HP for these skirmishers. Almost all the advanced arsenal techs for it have come in. He can get socket bayonet, which I think does troops harmed with muskets. No, that uh, musket infantry. No, yeah, so that's only musket infantry. Um, so he's got the he's got the archaic infantry one for the halberdiers. Um, so he's got he's got all of the techs. So these units are insane, by the way. His infantry units are steroid up, pumped up to the max. They are Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Universe. Mr. Olympia. Yeah, buddy. And these Poom Spearmen saying ain't none but a peanut because they are just smashing. They are just... Poom Spearmen are just MVP right now. There's no villagers over here, which is good. And he's been forced onto mills super early. Been on five banks the entire game. Just as well he didn't send this uh, Bank of Amsterdam because he lost all of his villagers. So what does he send next, you know? What does he send next? He's shipping skirmishes, but honestly, I feel like he could have cancelled that and gone Bosniaks. But would Bosniaks be any good here? Okay, now I like this. I like this. I like this. Wow, he's going so many skirmishes. And there's a lot of Chimu here. Free war huts and TC fire. I, I, I'm not sure this is going to go to. Oh, I mean, wow. I mean, 46 siege is kind of insane. Please get some halberdiers in queue. I mean, it's 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 kind of pointless taking this TC down because he has he has another one. Does not want these skirmishes to get found. No, don't pull trick. There's too many Chimus. 
Oh, that's a risk. Is it going to pay off? Is that risk going to pay off? Oh, my God, the lag. I think Osteo just makes a load of Chimus now. And yes, these guys are tanky and do a lot of damage, but these are still Chimu. I think that was a mistake, letting his uh, skirmishes get found out like that. Uh, he takes down two War Huts, which is nice. More villagers going down. A TC's gone down. But is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? He's going to lose everything. Plume Spearman just being a nuisance. Stop! And Dutch is kiting for his life right now, but... Chimus can be made from the forts. There's a couple more on the way. Oh, dearie me. Focus these Chimus. How about is doing work? There's still one Warhut alive, though. Nice kills. <laughs> Look how quickly they kill a, uh, those native skirmishers. Brilliant. Is he going to get trapped by more Chimus? I think he is. At this point, the best he can do is just try and do as much damage to these units as possible. The Plume Spearmen get cleaned up by some more Halberdiers. Yeah, he's going to try and focus on these Skirms as best as he can. Okay, nice. He's going to be taking down the native, but that will probably just get rebuilt straight away. But he's slowing him down. I like what he's done with the Halberdiers. He needs to make something happen, right? So, you know, it's kind of the right but the wrong decision. You know, like, what does he do here? He can't confront two forts head on. He still has advanced artillery, don't forget. So he could put down another artillery foundry uh, or, or put down his first one. And he could still make mortars, by the way. So I still feel like that is the best play. So still continue to make mortars. Oh, but so many villagers are going to get found here. But Bob and Joy is still up in score. That's the problem here. He's actually still up in score, but Kanja houses are just insane. He's on 48 villagers. He's got two TCs still. I do love how quickly these mountain troopers get wrecked. <laughs> they get like five hit by how it is. <laughs> 50 villagers compared to Bob and Joy's 27. Again, still has five banks, but these canchers, they do count for something. And look, he's got max canchers. 12. These, this is basically 12 villagers constantly on food. Constantly on food. Oh, more villagers getting found out over here. Oh, he needs to attack. Let the TC, let the outpost fire do help you with the Chimus as well. I think he should have kept all of the Hazards on the Chimus, to be honest. I'm trying to find out what's going on over here. Picks up a nice little raiding party, but getting raided again by... Oh, it's just so annoying. Oh, my God. The toxicity gets worse. Extensive fortifications on the way. That means he's going to be able to build more war huts, double the amount of war huts. His hit points on his war huts, strongholds, walls, all gets improved as well. I told you it's toxic. I told you it gets toxic. But he's on farms as well. So natural resources are running out right now. There's still a mine over here. That, okay, there's still a... Okay, okay, all right. Careful, Lionheart. Well, stop talking nonsense. There are still three gold mines here. Bob and Joy are trying to make something happen, but this is the problem. This is why Osteo, well, this is why Inca are so good. They base, they always base trade better than you. It doesn't matter. They, they can just base trade better than you. They have better uh, units that kill villagers. They have better siege units, and it's just... This is why they are so toxic. Bob and Joya tries to make something happen, but he can just get counter pushed instantly. Shabadez getting made here from the uh, House of Whittlespatch. That would be good to send right now, especially if he's making these. But versus Skirm Halb, that's not the best unit to make. A decent raiding unit, though. Scores are so close. It's 
40. I, I've literally just looked at the time, guys, right? And I, I, I can't believe it's 40 minutes into the game. Uh, this, Where has the time gone? This has flown by. Time flies when you're having fun, right? And we're all having fun. Not if you're Bob and Joya. You are not having a good time if you're Bob and Joya. <laughs> you are wanting to... Oh, I told you they're good raiding units, and that's exactly what he's going to do with them. Oh, but we've got another mortar. Let's go. This is exactly what I said. I feel like this is a really sound option to try and break this stuff down over here. Get a mortar. You only need one as well, by the way. You only need one. As long as you defend that one, you're going to be okay. And then Skirm Halb is, is a solid. A Skirm Halb is solid. You can mix in Hazards as well. That that always, you know, Skirm Halb. Because the, the problem with Reuters is Reuters just aren't good in this matchup because Plume Spearman and Chimu bunch together. Once they snare, they, they just destroy everything. And Reuters are not good at body blocking. They're not good at body blocking. So... The, 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 the Plume Spearmen are just going to charge at the Reuters. And whatever is in the way is going to get absolutely mauled to death, which normally is skirmishers. Okay, plus all of the military units into this stronghold. And look at the damage. It does 35 times 6. Just keep your halberdiers here. He doesn't need to do anything. He doesn't need to rush anything now. He just needs to continue to uh, mass his, uh, his units. Um, maybe mixing some Falconets as well. Uh, mixing in some Falconets could be good here. But look at the amount of HP these things have. They're so much cheaper than a European fort. They cost 350 wood and 350 coin. And they have 9,300 HP. Extensive fortifications mixed in with monumental architecture, which gives buildings another 35%. Can I get a higher? Looks like it's go time. Is there going to be any flanks? I don't see any red dots coming. So he just dives his halberdiers in. What he wants to do with the skirmishers is make sure he's just killing. This is what he does. The plume spearmen, they go on cover mode. Clever stuff there. The mortar goes down and the plume spearmen go on cover mode, which means they soak up more damage from the skirmishers. Really smart stuff there, but they don't... They already have melee resist. So... I mean, this fort... Oh, he's repairing the fort instantly. I'm not sure what he does here. I'm not sure what he does here. This, These forts are going to smash as well. Ah, uh, he's desperate. He's desperate. He wants to snare. He wants to do it, but he gets to half HP. And there's not that many... Uh, there's not that many halves. I mean, there's not many units for him either, but more halves coming in. Oh, decent amount of halves coming in. I mean, surely he could have just backed and gone for for an extra mortar again. These Chevaliers diving in being a massive nuisance. <laughs> Looks like he's going to take the fort down, though. But he does lose a few skirmishes. Okay, Minutemen. Minutemen being called. This whole entire time, he hasn't sent Minutemen. I'm, I'm actually shook. Okay, uh, that's actually a nice unit to make, Hurricka. He has got elite Hurricas. That's a nice unit to make versus Mortars, if he's worried about Mortars. Mortars. Been watching too many horror games. I do like horror games. I do like horror games. I like watching those uh, uh, those guys that play horror games. It's like, I I'm way too much of a, of a pussy to play, <laughs> to play horror games. <laughs> Maybe I'll stream myself playing like some scary horror games at some point, but honestly, I'm so much of a pussy. Stick to RTS games. They're, they're, they won't hurt me unless I'm playing Osteo. Huraka's coming in and uh, Haraka coming in. Sorry. And uh, look at the siege attack on these bad boys. What does Bob and Joy have? 77 villagers for Osteo. Bob and Joy is only up to 30. Still on five banks. So his eco has been almost unchanged for the last 20 minutes. Doesn't want to lose his TC. 
Oh, oh, that is a bad meal. That is not a good meal placement. Azar's coming in, but that's not going to be enough. And I don't think he has the resources to do anything else. I mean, he's cleaning up shop. This is a base, nice base trade here. But again, uh, like canter houses can be easily rebuilt. Banks can't. Bob and Joy is down in score now. Is this going to be the game after everything? Forcing him back. Oh. Surely now we get Bosniaks. Still has some outposts to send them to. Does lose a TC. It's not the end of the world, but it's not great either. Hazar rating is not going to do too much there. Look, he still has control of these mines, which is a problem. And Osteo straight back up to Max Cantors. It doesn't matter what Bob and Joya does. He just gets back up to Cantors, straight Cantors again. Like 2k HP for these bloody houses. Jeez. Still hasn't got the big button here, which is four villagers. That's an easy four villagers right now. Oh, that's a lot of villagers. I've literally ran out of things to say this game. <laughs> I was just in awe watching this game and completely forgot that I was casting. <laughs> I'm just so shook by this game. We see the first Reuters out on the map, and that's because of the shipment. Why did he not go Bosniaks? He, he, I mean, he had the gold. I don't know why he just doesn't sell to get Bosniaks. At least try and get the Bosniaks, you know? The biggest of biggest choke points right there. That may be the, the smallest choke point I've ever seen. And again, Chimu and Plume Spearman just being a nuisance mixed in with some, you know, native skirms, harakas, just a bit of mix of everything. Just a hodgepodge of, of military. I love that he's put down a, uh, he's put down the street waffles. But realistically, what can he make from here that's going to help him? I mean, Arsonist would be nice because they've got some insane siege. So we could just try and run some of them around uh, his opponent's base, but... TC getting rebuilt up here. There's a silver mine with 700 uh, coin left, but that's it. <laughs> Let the, the moment Bob and Joyce steps out of his base, Osteo is straight in there like a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> he just gives Bob and Joy, like, just gives his opponent zero opportunity. And look, these pikes, they, they're just running around as if they know where to go. Look, he's, the, 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 he's shipping them to come here. And he's going to find villagers now. It's just insane. There's always been a question about whether or not this guy uses a map pack. <laughs> There's always been a question. Uh, and there have been times where it's sus, but he plays like it every game, you know, so. Just his map awareness is just so good. Voyage is getting cleaned up. I think it's starting to get to that point now where uh, Dutch's only option is to reach over to the settings tab 
uh, click left click it and then uh, click the resign button. I think that's looking like a juicy uh, micro option for him right now. He's going to hang on. 86 vils. Oh, it's, it's just filthy, man. He still has a silver mine left. Oh, God, it's so painful. And Bob and Joy was leading for the majority of this game. And, oh, it just went downhill. Speed it up just a little bit. It's a live game, so it does. I can only speed it up a little bit. And, well, we speed it up the moment that he calls GG. And uh, he listened to my advice, clicked that right button and the resign. Guys, my goodness me, Mr. Toxic is back at it. And he is, he means business because he is going to the top page of the ELO ladder. He's reaching for that top 13 moment. If he's not there already. What a frigging game that was. Look at the villager genocide that happened this game. But can we all admit that the 2TC card in H3 is unbelievably OP? Like, can we admit that that is a dumb card? Like, why do they get that card? Guys, it was... It was uh, I, I, I really hate this sim. <laughs> I really hate this sim so much. But I hope it's entertaining at the very least. So, guys, hope you enjoyed that game. And I'll catch you in the next one. Massive shout out to uh, Gaboons once again for that donation. Thank you to everyone who follows, subscribes, watches the channel. And a massive shout out to my members as well. You guys are friggin' insane. I love you all. And I'm always open to feedback. So if there's any games you want me to look at, if there's any uh, feedback or different types of videos you want to see, um, you know, just please let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I will catch you. In the next game, peace.